Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of, of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Imperion Galactic Survival. And this is our early access play. And yeah, so we've recovered from our crash and I built the necessary components. Let's go back into first person. I don't like third person too much. So let's go into our, our inventory. I rebound my inventory key to the tab key because of seven days to die. So I recommend you check out that series if you haven't yet. I've got a ton of videos of that, I know, of my journey from Alpha 3, which kind of got me started on doing this YouTube thing, on, on doing it on a daily basis at some point. And yeah, now here we're coming up to where I've been doing this for almost a year and doing daily videos. And, it's been great. It's been great to be able to keep up and and to kind of get ahead, to kind of you create these videos ahead of time and and all that. But yeah, anyways, let's let's carry on with this series. So I I got a bunch of pieces there. I built enough you know a, a directional thrusters because that's all I had materials for. I couldn't really build any of the larger ones. Potentially I could have built a larger one and put it on the bottom, but I wanted two directional because I felt that, that gives more control. And then one in each direction, all around. It's going to move you very crappily, but I think we're going to tear this down, and it just, it's going to allow me to be able to go salvage the rest of my your current ship. And then I think you know, harvest any more of those drone guys. We'll kind of be on the lookout for that. And yeah, you know, I think I want to try and build a craft to attack those towers, because I know you get boxes in those towers that have a lot of good loot and so yeah so we'll we'll do that but anyways let's go check out our building I chose that cockpit on purpose out of all the cockpits so that kind of attracted me so I've also added a little bit more onto the base here I've added more glass let's kind of take a quick peek around here it's looking actually rather nice and I got the back here to do still and I kind of your foobard here. I wanted to see what this would look like, so now I need to basically destroy all of these blocks here. Well, I'll remove them, and I think I need to put a slanted block going slanted into here. But not too sure about that either. I might just put solid blocks up for a few blocks here. There's another planet that we can fly to, or the moon. You know, the moon has a ship on it that we can go and harvest, so we'll have to check that out. I love that feature about this game, this whole galactic survival. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit, just kind of why I'm doing the early access stuff here, why I'm doing this playthrough. I'm doing this playthrough because I want to see you know, how this game develops and progresses. You know, I like to watch back my footage. You know, I like the the Seven Days to Die. Like I have you know, footage from Alpha 3 to Alpha 11, and then I have a separate playlist for Alpha 12. Uh, and yeah, just I look back and I like to you watch back some old videos and just to see how the game has progressed or or regressed in some ways. And so, Imperial Galactic Survival is, the, is one of those games I, I'm banking on. You know, I like space engineers, but but I don't like the aspect of having to you place the blocks and you then build each block. Right? For some people, that'd be fun, and in an online environment, it's perfect, but you know, I like the Minecraft style of this, so that's what kind of attracted me to it. Was the building is kind of like Minecrafty, and you know, the sizing of the voxels are like Space Engineers, of course, because that's a good idea. You know, have your larger base, your blocks versus your vehicle blocks. Like, your Planet Explorers does the exact same thing. You know, it has a different sized. Well, I think it uses the same size for all of it never mind I was just gonna say maybe they you have different sizing but for that one I'm waiting for you know the nine point or was it the point nine you know, alpha for that to come out before I play that again I kind of purchased it in the hopes that it, you know this update would come and happen and <laughs> it's almost a year later of course early access right that's the risk you take when you buy these games and you know instead of paying 80 bucks for a game I'd rather pay 20 bucks you uh, 15 bucks 10 bucks whatever and you get you know about the same hours of enjoyment out of an early access game as I would out of a triple A game. Unfortunately, there's some frustrations, and you know <laughs> some people express that. 
I know Electrical Echo it gets frustrated a lot sometimes, and unfortunately, yeah, uh, I wish he didn't. It's just it's early access, and it's it's humans making games, and unfortunately, yeah, a lot of the games will look like each other, the the same mechanics, because unfortunately they're using the same game engine, you know, the Unity platform or or anything like that, which. You know, there seems to be a lot of copies of different games with that. It's amazing what you can do with the platforms, and it's perfect and wonderful. And again, that's why I choose Early Access. So I'm not bashing Early Access or any of that. I'm just saying that, you know, there's a risk with buying any Early Access game. And I also like the fact of the planets and Imperion here. That's another thing that attracted me, as well as the galactic survival aspect. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm hoping that we can create either... A jump drive on our our ship and fly to another star system if they want to do kind of like the weird zones like they have now like my understanding of the game is this is there's a planetary zone and then there's a space zone which are kind of separate from each other and in my understanding with the multiplayer is everyone needs to be in a passenger seat a seat on the ship that's flying into space which is kind of disappointing because for me, the whole point of this to be multiplayer would be, hey, there's some people up in space doing stuff. Maybe some people on the planet here, you know, kind of you're creating a base to you know, hit all the, the towers and the resources and whatnot. And, and you know, to create a simple base to, to kind of land a craft on. That's kind of what this is going to be. Uh, I don't know. It's like there's potential in the game. And I like the sandboxiness. I just... You hope that you know, they fulfill a lot of their promise. I want procedural planets. Because right now the experience is the same with everybody. It's the exact same thing. And that's a disappointment. Uh, so while we talk, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create our ship. Um, it's a disappointment in the way that... that I might be doing this wrong, but I don't care. I'm just going to start placing and hopefully we'll figure this out as we go. Okay, so that's the new small vessel. Okay, and it looks like the arrow shows the front of the ship, which is kind of exciting. So let us do the good old, let's place a bunch of blocks and go from there. All right, All right. So I think it's the building, yeah, see, I just, I like this building, and then you just you start building blocks. The removal is kind of weird and different, but I want to protect my core as well. So I think all my central components would be where that core is. I can protect it from below. Okay, so let us go. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, I was just disappointed in that fact that it's not like a complete seamless. Like StarMade has a seamless from a planetary surface to space because I think it's the same environment. It's just a visual effect when you're in, uh, you know, like around the planet. Let's take a drink there. Make sure you got your drinks and your tasty treats. I should say that after every intro. That's something I want to start doing, just because it's. I like that little phrase and saying. And I was talking with my daughter about a T-shirt. You know, one day when, if the channel's big, <laughs> maybe have a cool T-shirt. Okay, so maybe I want to stick this out a tad more. I don't know. We'll put it right there. I kind of like that. Okay, now we need to place the generator. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that Imperion it pulls through on promises, right? Pulls through on 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 making this game better, You're creating a dedicated server, right? Uh, <laughs> and that's why I kind of did the early access things to support. That's I'm hoping it shows the developers that it's support right and this is the support that they need uh, the financial support to hopefully kind of create these games you know like the games like star made has the same kind of building but then the removal is the same then there's you know a little bit different mechanics so it makes it kind of fun in that respect too but then there's also different things with i don't know you do with this game and then there's star there's uh Sorry, Star. <laughs> They're Space Engineers, which is another game I have a short series on, and I did that with Lushable Echo, because that, again, that's the kind of game that's fun, right? Uh, it, yeah, and it's just it's just interesting. I'm just kind of placing blocks to make a room for where I'm going to put everything, so I think we want to put a 
thruster. Uh, let's see. I think that's facing down. Yeah, we want to put one like that. Put one like this. Okay, so that's the two pointing down, which we want, right? We're going to need one pointing forward. So I know we need to protect this cockpit a bit more. So let's place some more of these blocks. So what happened before is I got shot out of the cockpit. So I'm thinking this cockpit is a smaller profile. So I'm hoping that it's it'll be easier to dodge bullets with. So we also need to you know, place a block or two. I just don't know where I want to place my weapons, right? I want to place it just in front of the cockpit. So what we'll do is maybe we'll place these square blocks as placeholders. Essentially, I want to have two weapons here, whether it's rockets or whatever. I don't think it matters. Maybe, maybe rockets, but I want them kind of where these two blocks are. Okay. So that means we need a bottom layer here. I do want to put oxygen on this ship too, so that way we can go further distances. But right now it's just to get, you know, salvage the, my ship that we lost, right? And then potentially a few drones would be there hanging around. I think the weapons are three blocks, so I can safely do this. We need to put a front thruster as well. Maybe we'll do this, and then we'll do a front thruster. Let's see here. Front thruster like this. All right. So that way we can stop ourselves. Okay, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to make more of these blocks. And I was talking about kind of why I purchased Imperion, uh, or why I purchased any of the early access, and that's why I have that mostly on my channel because. I started with Minecraft. Minecraft was kind of something that got me first into YouTube. Like I've always had a YouTube account because I would watch YouTube, but gameplay footage because I like to watch people play games. And there's been a lot of games I haven't purchased because I watched people play it. And yeah, and I didn't like that. So now what I'm doing is I'm showing you gameplay of this game to give you an, an accurate representation of kind of why I purchased this game so yeah hopefully it's it's good enough for everybody <laughs> if not oh well because <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm having fun and this is the only way I can play games nowadays too that's another thing that's just interesting is just you know I try and play games outside of this just to kind of take a break uh, but just the games don't have the same flair you know like potentially there's a human watching this uh, listening to me speak you know, uh, it's just it, you know that alone is pretty cool, right? The fact that that someone you, like you, you know, is watching, just which is awesome. It's awesome, and I appreciate the fact that you're watching this and you're listening to me ramble on and <laughs> about the game and yada yada yada. So let's put this. This is the fuel cell, right? This is be where we load it with fuel, but I want to kind of disguise it. So maybe we'll put it there. And what I mean by disguising it is, I kind of had a little idea, is using these corner hull blocks. Let's see here. And they're going to be orientated. So I want to try and see if I can look through and access this. Let's see here. Um, and page up. And I think that's how I want it. Uh, maybe like that, like that, and then we want to turn this on that side like that. So basically, what that would do is I'm pr I'm creating basically two blocks here. Let's let's finish this a little bit so you can visualize kind of what I'm doing and why. I could use the curved pieces. Like, yeah, I could use the curved pieces here, actually. So if we go, uh, I'm trying to remember what these page up, page there we go, page down do. So let's do that. We do have a remove and repair tool. 
Oh. Oh, wow. That's quick. I'm just kind of... <laughs> I can repair the ground while... Mm. Pardon me. Just had to mute that for a bit. Okay, so let's see here. What should we put down here? Maybe I got the wrong kind of blocks along the bottom here. Nah, nah, let's just... We'll put the curve like that. We'll... Yeah, this is the problem with building, right? This is what happens. You get, I get sidetracked and start building something a certain way. And actually, we need our side thrusters, right? Maybe those are good places for side thrusters. Ah, thank you, thank you, audience. Thank you. See, this is why I get distracted. There we go. We can put one there. I do need to go a couple down, and I think I flarked that already. So, shit. How am I, I going to do this? I know how I can do this. I can tear apart something. So let's see here. So if we go uh, page up, I need to see where this is, and I think it's facing down. Yeah, it's facing down. Okay. Wow. Did we already place her down? I remember placing those. I think that's what these are in the corner. Never mind. I am being such a silly person. There we go. Okay, so those are good spots actually for those thrusters. I fucked that one up. Yeah, shit. Oh well. Oh well. We'll have to move that. So this is part of the reason why I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. So we need to actually put some more of these guys. Six. Do I have any more components? There's RCS to place, which I think can go right behind. Let's see here. I think we can put this thing right. Where is it? Ah, uh, right here, right on the core. I think that would be perfect, All right? Because that will be protected completely from both sides, in the back and bottom. But the bottom's gonna have another layer covering the core, All right? Um, let's see here, I think that will be it, so then we have two, we need the back and the top. So what's the top going to be like? Well I definitely want this all protected, so I might need these curve segments, um, I don't know, half curve quarter, half round. I might need to build more of these components here. Yeah, okay, that's... Shit. Ah, pardon me for swearing, but that's just something I do, unfortunately. That's potentially why you're watching this channel. <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm, I'm going to secure this, right? Because I kind of want to block on the top of this. All right? So that is... Oh, come on, get on the ship here. Shit. Okay, the physics are kind of funny with the characters. See, and then... Okay, so I want basically a block. And then, and then where the core is. So I can put the thruster right where I'm standing maybe. Nah, that's too close. I want to put the thruster back here. Okay, we'll do that. Kind of sucks that I have to expose the ship this way but yeah we are going to tear the ship up eventually and rebuild it so I think the point of this is to collect enough materials oh no I want to go up right crap okay well we'll go up in front that's fine we got to tear this down anyways it's these stupid keys <coughs> oh, excuse me. So up and back. Alright, I did back. This is my last one. Okay. I used to get the components back, which is I like that fact. There we go. Yeah, I don't like that though. Shit. Okay, let's see if this thing flies. That's the next thing. I think I have everything on there that I had. Yeah. This is the bare minimum. 
So let's uh, just put a couple in and let us hope that this wonderful creature, this wonderful you know device, it flies. And let's go in. Y for power. Now space for go up. Oh, 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 look at this. Okay. 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 And it goes down. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Go V. Okay, perfect. Okay. We have our ship now. Yay! Let's do a little quick test fly. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's do test fly up into space for the fuck of it. Uh, I might not have enough thrust. Let's see here. Ah, okay. Maybe. Nice. Let's see if we can get into space. I think we can. And we're going to fly a little bit more in space than what we can as well. So, yay. Oh, this feels so good to have freedom of mobility, all right? There, now we are in space. Now we're going to get out of the atmosphere here. Sweet, sweet. Let's continue to go until there's there's no more gravity. Okay. There's the moon. As we're slowly falling back. There's the, the asteroid belt. There's the lava planet. Ah, this is just amazing. Okay. We did our little bit few minutes of, of fun. Let us kind of return to the surface here. And I'm going to try and line up with this, these lakes here, but that might not be the right spot. I don't think. Shoot. Okay, let's line up back this way. There's the pole. Perfect. I think the Titan should be. Ooh. I'm just free falling, basically. There's the Titan. Perfect. There we go. I hope they fixed the transition. It's kind of laggy on my system. There we go. There's my wonderful Titan. Or whatever you call it. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to have to create a salvage trip over, over there where those two towers are. And then there's, I think, also... There's that. The, the Neodeum whatever it's called okay perfect ha exciting exciting so there you go folks I think this is gonna be a good point I'm gonna end the video on um, maybe I'll I'll finish off with kind of talking a little more about Imperion and you know early access and, you know, my delve my delving into actually you know what let us check out, we need to get more Prometheum. And I know there's more Prometheum in this direction. Over here. I just don't remember if there's a tower. So let's head over there and do that. Okay. Because we need it. We need more fuel. There's a tower there. But the place we want to go is in the mountains. And I think we can land without incident. Let's see here. I'm going to take a quick drink here. Okay, I also don't edit this stuff out because, I don't know, I feel you need to see this stuff. Actually, that's silicone, right? So let us actually... There's cobalt as well, so we need both of those. Help. Okay, so I hear something. Unless that's my sound. You hear that? Huh. 
Huh. Weird, it's coming in this direction. I'm okay if it's a drone. Where are you, drone? I thought I was stuck inside. Ah! Ha! <laughs> Come on. There we go. Perfect. Reload. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Whew, okay, more components. So then we can build our spaceship better. So I want to check out the silicone deposit here. That's, I want to dig closer to where my ship is there. I want to see my ship. Okay, 10 meters. So is this whole asteroid silicone? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I want the drill. Let's move all these blocks into my inventory. There are They are very big distraction. Okay, oh, and our oxygen. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to fly back. Let's see how fast we can dig into this thing. Uh, is this just stone? Ah. Yeah, this is, we need to put an oxygen thing. Yeah, they really changed mining, actually. Like, where's the silicone? Huh. Wow. Okay, well, we need to head back, so let's go to our small vessel. Holy shit, I didn't realize it went so far. I guess it doesn't seem as far, right? Until now, all of a sudden, there's a oxygen crisis. We need to put landing gears on this thing, and it, it lands, it falls really fast, and that's kind of surprising. So let's go into this guy, power up, spacebar. Let's go back to our base. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I know, I have fun. I'm, ha I'm gonna have fun with this. Next episode, we're going to do some harvesting. Maybe get more stuff on the base here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into third person mode to land. I think that's a little bit easier. I just want to see if I can land it on the roof. Not that I will be able to, but... Yeah, this thing's... Handling is kind of terrible. There we go. Perfect. Turn it off. Hop out. Go back in here. Machine gun. We need oxygen. Uh, okay, we need food. Which those crops I have are more than plenty. So, yes, there you go, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, you're going to watch me you do some harvesting and play some multiplayer footage. And maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to harvest this food and I'm going to eat it. And yeah, and so you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.